Welcome to the Hazara Pioneers Library on Amunji Strategy at the Paiko Garden. Um, thank you to each one of you for this reading that you've started today, the 2nd of July 2018. Koshish Mani Damzu Trendy Kazbeshi TV. Was his daughter Radamzu style ki present kade? Amur kam shuna takriban. Isham albata e language chidiga bakaida tawajjo me haya tay. Ki literary language or kamobesh koma kilazi mama kushishnum kiura simplify kanum likin the many hodi story bisar sadaya. Sirami beginning is ek introduction a kam al fashi granga. Rushut. وقتی انتدیوس مکنه از بعد باز با منی چپتر وان کی رفتیم دیگه داستان از بعد هر کجا مرز کشیدند مرز یعنی بارڈر هر کجا مرز کشیدند شما پل بزنی حرف شیر از دشم به سر پل بزنی پریفیس آف دا ٹریجر این دا هزار پاینیرز لائیوری دا انچانتید پرنس by Leonid Solovyov, a Russian author, one of the best prints in the world. If you touch it, you will find these words are actually standing there. So, why is this story presented to you? Well, we will tell you when you finish the entire book with us. That is the condition we need. You want to know why we are reading, reciting, or narrating, or telling you this story? It's because we are storytelling. This is what we are doing. But why this story? Oh, I've waited for this day to narrate this story to you for a very long time. I've been cooking this in my heart and mind. Let me start the book. In the preface, Solovyov says, My childhood and youth were spent in the East. As a Russian, the Mashriq I best remember Forghana, and I traveled all over the part of that, the country. It was a long time ago, but even now, at 50, it means my age is 50 now, I still, not my age, I mean Solovyov's age, I still think of Forghana as one of the loveliest spots on earth. The newspaper Pravada Vastoka, Truth of the East, was my literary cradle for it was in its columns that my first articles and stories appeared in print. My first book, Lenin in Eastern Folk Art, a volume of Central Asian post-revolutionary folk lore, was published in Moscow in 1930. Skipping the intervening books and screen scripts that I wrote, I shall pass directly to Hoja Nasruddin. I heard many amusing stories about him in Uzbekistan and subsequently academician Krimsky's research on Hoja Nasruddin fell into my hands. The character of this most popular wag and wit of the East at once acquired depth and substance in my mind. ट्रेवल का तुम सफर का तुम दी तुम क्यों ये हर नफर खोजना शुरू दिन खस्तेश मना मिशना समुफाम है इसी बात से फिर मुझे मने इसी कैरेक्टर अम्म डेप्थ है बिसार गहरा है बिसार अमीका वो बिसार पूरा हिकमत दरा दास्ताना ही ना शुरू दिन एंड इट स्ट्रक मी दैट ही माइट हैव बीन एन उज़्बेक ही माइट है Describing the adventures of Khoja Nasruddin came into being. It was published in 1940 under the title of Disturber of the Peace or Khoja Nasruddin in Bukhara. 
This book is familiar to Soviet readers and to readers abroad. The war and difficult years that followed it prevented me from following up the story of my hero. It means Second World War, first and second. And the second book of his adventures under the title of The Enchanted Prince was not finished until 1954. Opinion among my readers on the merits of the two books is divided. The young readers give them palm to the first book. The not so young prefer the second. As I belong to the latter age group, my own preference goes to the second book. I am often asked whether I intend to continue the Khoja Nasruddin narrative. My answer to this is contained in the closing lines of the present volume. Leonid Solovyov, March 1957. This was the preface, a little bit hello hi from the author. Now we go directly into the introduction. There is a quotation from Saadi. I have traveled wide in many lands. I have visited many peoples and plucked an ear of corn from every corn field. Azhar au khodeg au khordom, for it is better to go barefoot than to wear tight boots. Better to endure all the hardships of travel than to stay at home. And I would add, with every returning spring, one needs must choose a new love. For last year's calendar, my friend, is no use today. In Ali E the introduction as I will read the introduction which has slightly some heavy words. Don't worry about it, okay? But it's important that you listen to this. The sages of your Yani Buzurgai Guzashta Kadimi Yor. The sages of your have bequeathed to the world any Mirasishta. Buzurgai Guzashta Eg Mirasishta to the world a rich legacy of books. Kim Kitab Hanabori Pansasal Pesh, Dusasal Pesh, Sasat Pesh, Kitab Hai, Kitab Hai, Kigaba Gizuhana. Why? In order that the torch of their learning may light up for us. Mash Ali Rajur Sunaki, Una Pesh of Tamur, Handa Murar, repeat Nakanish, Tibanakani. These books tell us about everything. About wars and earthquakes, about wonders and prophecies, about every page is adorned with the names of sheikhs and caliphs and invincible warriors and other illustrious personages. But there is one man, but there is one man of whom these books say nothing. Although he was famed throughout the world, that man is Khoja Nasruddin. This omission, this omission on the part of the ancients is not surprising. It often happens in those remote times that one or another sage planted in his book the seeds for of fortune and honors. As in Egbaktiu is Zatu Karamat Kesta, Tamam Rajam Katman Kitabhu, but reaped instead, alas, insurmountable vows. Agaras Tamam Zyat Bad Bakta Munashta. Hence, the sages were extremely discreet. Kirbugum. Kirkhambugum. Pagrainashnabai. Hence, the sages were extremely discreet in word and thought, as is evidenced in the case of that most virtuous man, Muhammad Rasul ibn Mansur, on taking up his abode in Damascus. Yagazubi Salaramida. He proceeded to write a book entitled A Treasure House of the Righteous and had come to the biography of that much sinning vizier 
این نوشته منا کی مثلا ادمای خوب چرخه منا تمام زور نوشته نه از بعد ما یاد نام یک دن وزیر ابو اسحاق when he suddenly discovered that the governor of Damascus was a direct descendant of the said wazir on the maternal side ye gochi ke ze mosha qadzi wazir governor praise be to allah for that timely intelligence uf khub shud khabar shudum exclaimed the sage and counting off a dozen blank pages ri ek du se char panch khoy ster ko ek dafa bi ek digar ne ustad ka ne he wrote upon each of them the word discretion 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 then in modern terms are maga top secret shh, top secret top secret when he did this he proceeded forthwith to the history of another wazir whose powerful offshoots dwelt at a safer distance from damascus was ek wazir diga kam dur bud gutu khair u khabar na musa بلکه مور نوشته کنم ای که در دیماسکس ما زندگی نیم خو گورنر بچه خاله فلانی مشه وزیر که ما در برد باریزو نوشته نم دارو نگه ایر بیل فلال تسکیب کو As a result of this circumspection the said sage was able to reside in peace in Damascus for many a long year بایل در امان اگل ازامون زندگی کد and contrived to die a natural death without being constrained to cross the bridge of the afterworld carrying his head before him in his hands like a lantern the books are silent about khoja nasruddin the heavy stone of forbiddens ijazania lay upon his name in those days for such was the command of the powerful the caliphs the sultans and the shahs who hoped by depriving him of posthumous fame to take their revenge upon him at least in the ages to come ke mitem khub porem dar tu por girta na mitem chun gua kar ke makat bazu as pashna freya rahim ke por giraftar ko ye ghaiba rafta dikar shahar wo je baz de gor qabin diga wo baz shuru mosha ek bisyar halal e mushkilat jor mosha baz ba shah salamat ro ek je position me de bachi و قرار میشه رقت قلم خدا شکارا ایک ٹک ٹکارا نہ نہ بازو کے انصاف حق انصاف کے مکنا بازو سیل منہ کے نقصان چھ بادشاہ رسید باز نہ فرض پذیرے نہیں باز فرارا ایف یو جی ٹی بائی ایٹ ہم کی دا امی گیر خنا مائے لیکن دا نام دا کتاب تر جائے نہیں دیم کس دیگاس خبر نہ شناس تو کہ تو بو دیم جی نیڈ وی آسک ویدر دے سکسیڈڈ ان دیر پرپس آئی ایم نا واکن کامیاب شو از سلیمان Saviji says the deserving shall be famed even though all the world winds were leagued against him tamam to fan hai jahan ki be khay ki khak bat kana gum kana rang zira wo ga deserving but dum team for ocean mujhe malum for there is a book over which the caliphs have no power the memory of the people it was in that great book that khoja nasruddin achieved for himself an immortal name abadi forever now in the town of hojent on the banks of the sir darya ek amu darya hai ek sir darya hai central asia hai there is a large common any common a ego field uh, open space is the very public a common people in jai batsani hai inji common people ma ek laza inji drakh mrakh kisna bas au media bas sai shud bas ek laza mishe zir this is common mugad the town of hojan that the banks the kinare azu the bank azu there is a large common upon which no one settles kas khane jor na unji ulbi darya or raises orchards na unji kas bag mag kisna because at this point the river makes a sharp bend 
سمود نیا انت دفعی ریور شارپ باشه بس بخی کات منا سایری زمین را and undermines the bank zabita kinari dariar khordareya of which it washes away from 3 to 4 cubits every year 3 to 4 qarish every year khordareya the river has already washed away half the plot nimi palada khorda and come close to the mighty elm darakhti elm Rachis mangi da zirgi ma paida nak dum tabal shumo paida kin khob azmar bugin the comments of bugin elm elm mighty elm which grows there all by itself tano ek dana drakht bachi esta hai it gnarled bed roots running down the clay steep into the water amunji au zada unji gil chuda bazamo rishai cham burs da malum mida nisbi rishai shi taraf Exposed to the sun and abundantly provided with moisture, the elm spreads its branches wide. Its luxuriant green foliage obscuring all the other trees. Which stands in a wretched huddle by the dusty roadsides a little way off. Perched with thirst and languishing from the heat they feebly rustle their starved punny leaves and like many a paltry person cast envious eyes upon their proud and happy rival dunafar never mind they think the river will wash away some more of the bank upon which it stands and losing its support it will topple over by, and be carried away by the stream to rot ingloriously on some sand bank but we shall stand here as of old, rendering thanks to fate for having planted us far from the river. Our foliage may be sparse, and unlovely to behold, and ineffectual in offering cool shade to the wayfarer, our leaves may be caked with the hot dust of the road and our roots chalked down by the hard, dry earth. But we are content and wish for no better lot. For all striving is fraught with hazard of which this proud elm is an example. They are mistaken. The elm will not topple into the river and be carried away by the stream. The water will wash away, not save the sickly little growth around it. which have struck deep roots to the very bottom of the river. The elm will stand firm upon the bank and the very river that is washing it will deposit fertile silt around it. It will thrive and spread its massive crown even wider while those others by the roadside will have yielded up their wretched lives to the fire in the hearts and even when its bank bark bark even its bark 
have peeled off, when its cover will have dried and its juices stopped running within the trunk, it will not be cut down. And soon up for firewood, but will be enclosed in a pretty fence. Ki mordam baje full ki piram shuna bas mordum de girdi ziye gom ter char devli jorna. And shown to the passing travelers. Var kis theer shud muga bai nijish shumos yara denji. With the words, this elm was planted and raised by Hoja Nasruddin. And the traveler will further learn that Razak, which means bread giver, in Nanwai, a suburb of Hojent inhabited by bread cake bakers, has another name among the people. The suburb of Hoja Nasruddin, because it was there. Una Umardum Magai Mantke Hoja Nasruddina. Because it was there that legend claims his house to have stood in times of yore. Khanesh Budainji. The people of Hojant will tell the traveler that up in the mountains on the way to Asht, there is Hoja Nasruddin's lake. So if you want to go to the lake, you can go to the lake. What do you think about the lake? What do you think about the lake? No, no, I don't know what to do. The lake is the lake and the lake is the lake. I'm going to go to the lake. Okay. In that village, there is Nasruddin's chai khana. And that under the eaves of that chai khana lives Nasruddin's sparrows. Chokai Nasruddin zindigi namji. Descendants of a famous sparrow. We khas sparrow but ki Nasruddin khochi. Kita kita it was nasl azuya tamam alis onu chokka onu zindigi na. There is a cave there to a ghara mastamji with a quaint name, Megajib Namdara, the abode of the righteous thief, Ziarat Gahe, Duzi, Chibogim, Duzi, righteous thief, Chizar Guftamitanim. Duzi ki toba gada matlab. Khubatam George da. As Duz, ee matlab. There is also Nasruddin's Arik, Nasruddin's footbridge. In short, everything there breathes of his memory. As if he had ridden forth from here on his ass only yesterday. Clad in the robe of zeal. Robe amu. Chimaga. Chapan. Chapani Josh. Josh Chapan. Mulla Nasadina Vacharia. Chapani Josh. Agadazrigira Tarjimakani. And armed with a staff of patience was Sote Sabr. The Dishi. We visited all these places. We passed the night under many roofs warmed ourselves at many fires, talked about Hoja Nasruddin with many people. Fortune favored our search. And today we turn over yet another page of his life, saying with the most wise Ibn Tufail, may this story be a lesson to those that have a heart or to those who will hear and see. Ata introduction ini rakam budiga. Amzu maguftum dide grang bud kena bud. Kam grang bud na chun introduction chamsi wala ya. Dige ishi duru ni dastan umidwar astom ki ini part one atai. Drawing, Mr. Hasin, drawing, Mr. Inji. 
I really like to do this with this kind of drawing with brush. Really hope Mayana. Suggestiva. Okay. Thereupon the merchant and his wife set forth upon their distant journey. As I say, Hazar Yakshap. Hazar Dastan, Yak clip. Girifta the Shuruizi. Moga thereupon, Istarha, the merchant and his wife, Pir Tajir or Uski Begam, set upon their distant journey. Baz in the Ravan to them. They travelled long, crossing mountains and plains, seas and deserts in noonday heat and at sunrise. Allah preserved them in their travels and on the 13th day they reached the city of Basra, the thousand and one nights. In Almaya Dastani, Khwaja Nasruddin wa Guljan. Chapter 1. Khoja Nasruddin with his wife Guljan repaired first to Istanbul and thence to the Arabs. He disturbed the peace successively. He disturbed the peace successively in Baghdad, Medina, Beirut and Basra caused pandemum in Damascus and then dropped in at Cairo where he held for a time the office of Chief Justice of the city or Chief Judge of the city. When he judged, when he judged, the Qaira, he judged or the Misr. When he judged and how he judged, we know not. <laughs> but what we do know is that he was therefore sought for and hunted all over Egypt. <laughs> for a space of two years. But he was far away at that time. <laughs> Traveling in other lands and upon other roads. Eternal wanderer, he never stopped. He never stopped long at any place. Sunrise found him saddling his asses. The white one for Guljan. The grey one for himself, and continuing on his way again, pressing on and on, and choosing a new halting place every night. In the morning, the frost chilled him, and blizzard attacked him. At the snowy pass, as you go the reiki, hub yahalud the rabut, hub bad mizan manj the reyach. I tell you to move on the reyach. At noon, the motionless heat in the rocky mountains gorges parched his lips. The chest came shoot, but minger niki, the sara burshda, katkar kant reya, lavaj tarkida bechi. And in the evening, he breathed the fragrant coolness of the valley. And drank from the Arik. Sham ki mushud pali darya khub aushi mukaz rahat is rahat. The turbid water, whose birth from the ice and snows he had witnessed that day up up in the mountains. Am zura ki tirsh dabo, am zara hai ki wo chap shir khordat ya khazur tirk dat. Baaz amad aaz zur khord. Baaz shinaht ki ya kudam aawai. Ada varze. Were he free to do as he liked, he would never have ceased in his wanderings. And he would have continued on his way until he had encompassed the earth with the narrow tracks of his ass's hooves. 
کردم زی خروی خو این می دور جهان گشته و پس میاد. اگر دل زیر میشه تی که تو کنن. But a man who has a wife must also have offspring. خاطر که دیز اوضو باید بایده. And Khoja Nasruddin did not neglect his duty. <laughs> On the fourth year of wedlock, the Charum Sali Arusi, he was blessed with a fourth son by Guljan. <laughs> Khoja Nasruddin rejoiced. Guljan rejoiced. The brothers of the newborn expressed boisterous delight and clapped their hands and the white ass brayed triumphantly proclaiming to all bipeds dupayara har ki dupaya ki atraf bu tamam zindar elan kat feathered and unfeathered chai pardare ya bepara to all the quadru quadrupeds char paya ham and all creatures that swim and crawl ونا که دزیر آوا که دبال آوا، آرجای که است، the coming into the world of a young master. یک صاحب جوان تشریف آورد و اینا لب چیزشون دکارشون داره. خارجی که مخلوق بود، اونا را تمام، امی خری اسپی، تمام را خبر کرد. The grey ass alone rejoiced not. اصر می انتقال بیچاره شو زویا. He twitched his ears. He twitched his ears and gazed gloomily at the ground. Is you Allah? The chordrafta, blind to all the glories of spring scattered so prodigally around him. Now rosa taza, baharanda, magur the chord the bahar mahar is neem. A month later. Saw them on their way again. But as yag mai zi chakam alch barabar shud alin nilgav barabar da bagal maya inal burti ke va iravan chidu sam. Guljan upon her white ass. Guljan azu yadi ko bolikh khari sarfit chish. Khoja Nasruddin upon his grey one. U bolikh surmei chish. In front of him, right on the ass's withers. Set his eldest son. This this rasp of his rich who kitab a charshan da bil gardan chi. On the ass is a rump. Set his second son. Idhar of shuri esgak shishta. Diverting himself with the ass's tail, which having caught and pulled over toward him, he was picking clean of the burrs that stuck to the tuft. The third son was riding in the right saddling bag. The many khurjini ras shishta kadu mi kharbazi na darav. And the fourth had been put to bed in the left saddlebag. <laughs> Guljan, my ass looks dejected of late. <laughs> Said Khoja Nasruddin, I trust he is not ill. May merciful Allah preserve us from such a misfortune. By a good whip. At the next bazaar. That will cheer him up quickly. <laughs> Advised Guljan. For my shkat. Hearkening to these words, the ass merely sighed and murmured, inwardly against his master. <laughs> A year passed over them. Spring returned. In Ali Dumna Bahara, they are Chimbashak, Yak Bahar Khatam Shuk. Halas. Next spring, I'm there. Spring returned, the south wind, Badi Junubi, opened the apricot blossoms. Gulai Mewara Waskat. The gardens were flooded 
with the pink and white spin drift of flowers and filled with chirps, chirrups, twitters and warbles. Chirps, chirrups, twitters and warbles and the areek overflowing their banks. Awa ki awa saheb, darya ya rawana. Rumbling at night with a full deep sound as of trumpets. One day, during a halt, the grey ass yek yek rose amitar da palu palu darya ya kse imi ki na istad masha pazi khar. The grey ass, while nibbling the fresh spring grass, taaza bahar am shuda sauza mas tam zabita khorda reya. Chanced to look at Guljan, and marked that she had grown round of body again. Ha ha ha! Ki Guljan sam gol gol vacha. His worst suspicions confirmed. <laughs> His worst suspicions confirmed the ass with a bray of despair broke his tether and made a dash through the bushes. Behi da qara ma da mi chiz mis hudum ter crash kat kat aiza ma aiza zat tavani jungle. Only then did the reason for the long-eared one's brooding misery dawn upon Khaja Nasruddin. Baz family ko ho. ये तो सब देखिए दिल से हिंद खराब है राइट दूसरा नाम वाला फेयरेस्ट गुलजान कंदेम शिरीनेम सेड ही इट विल बी ओनली जस्ट इफ यू टेक द टू लास्ट बॉयज टू यू अपॉन द वाइट आस बी आई मीन साफ नहीं है आई मीन खुदा खुश ना माया तू बोलो मुझे खारी सफीद है बेखी ब्रेज़ उसे रशन आर्डिश में फ्रॉम दे� it was the white ass who brewed it. <laughs> Whereas the grey one, on the contrary, now held his ears erect, twilled it and wagged his tail and stepped out briskly along the road. <laughs> like... But two more years passed over them. <laughs> two more years passed over them and both asses fell to brooding <laughs> happily we should buy a third guljan suggested Oh, my matchless rose, I gulina yabma. If this continues, wakayna garitir bichla, we shall soon have a whole caravan trailing behind us. As pas pasel di da da kar kujarein we khan madin asudin raya. Answered Khwaja Nasruddin. Alas, I fear that my years of roving are over. بخالم دوری آور گردم خلاص شده. And that years of contemplation and meditation have set in for me. حالی زمانی فکر و ذکر رسیده بیش قرار یک جای تفکر کو تعقل کو ای تو تگای دو آور گردی نی. Praise be to Allah. Alhamdulillah. Guljan exclaimed. At last, you have come to understand. How unseemly it is for a man of your age and with such a family to get about like a homeless vagabond. To sell ko ya ulata ekzo sir sell ko mis da wara kochi li itaraf boru gay itaraf boru. We shall hide to Bukhara to live with my father. Burim taraf Bukhara khane. एक लाज़ा मुझे क्या हम कहने बिजनी में एक लाज़ा बस क्या वारा कर दी रे स्टे होजर नसरुद्दीन चेक्ड हर यू फॉरगॉट दैट द सेम इलेस्ट्रियस अमीर स्टिल रेंज इन बुखारा अजीब तरफ तक अमीर स्तावलों ने मुझे द बुखारा तुम समझ में मुझे मुझे एंड ही हैज हार्डली फॉरगॉटन हिज कोर्ट एस्ट्रोलॉजर हुसैन हु Hussain Husliya, with a Ziyad Tarafta, 
let us rather take up our abode hereabouts in Kokand or in Khojand. Ya Kokand ya Khojand. As you do, Jay, Bukhara Nam Shavachish. Hal Kharava on Jitabalda. Halat Kharava. From the hillside upon which he had pitched his tent for the night could be described two roads. One a trade high road to Kokand. The other a narrow country road to Khojand. In al tubugi, e caravani to Jaratia, Rust Mithinibori in Jibirsi, ya the Zirai tracks while I'm on his pipe I go. The other, a narrow country to the Hojand, along the Kokand High Road, amid a heavy cloud of dust, moved a slow, dark, droning procession of camel caravans. Two wheeled carts, horsemen, and pedestrians. The Khojand road was quiet and deserted. And the lofty sky above it was tinged with the pink flush of sunset. Taza, the pink flush of sunset, ura rangam kada. We shall hie to Kokand, said Khojan Nasruddin. No, I had rather we hide to Khojan. Retorted Guljan, I'm weary of the great cities and noisy bazaars, and I yearn for rest and quiet. Ek laza busy is bore ek jay ek jay khamosh bore. Mere bazaarat ki devna ke tamam roz kad karvan ramori tu. All too late, he recognized his mistake. Yak dev guchi gufto ma chhi the dawn the dawn hazar. Wishing to go to Kokand and knowing his wife's disposition. He should have proposed Khojand to her in the first instance. Ki mugut Khojand ki wo bas bugan na 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 Khojand na kuqan. Asal mi kuqan hi rahi wud. Gudiri thi kine baat khat khatu. What such a lonely spot? Do raj chhas teri tana tana rai lagu zura na mori. She would have exclaimed, and the next morning would have found them travelling the high road. Karavan wala. However, it was too late to rectify the error. <laughs> and dangerous to argue, for truly says the ancient saying, he who argues with his wife only succeeds in shortening his life. <laughs> he who argues with his wife only succeeds in shortening his life. So Khoja Nasruddin sighed and said, I have been in Khojant once. And I still remember the taste of those famous grapes of theirs. Very well, let it be as you desire. And so they settled in Khojant in the suburb of the bread cake bakers of Razak on the very bank of the Sir Darya. Escaping into the valley from the narrow gorges, the great river benefactress of the innumerable generations, here checked the headlong course of her yellow seething waters and flowed past Hojand with slow majesty, bestowing life upon plants animals, and human beings, and lulling Hoja Nasruddin's children to sleep with the soft pearl of wavelets lapping the clay bank. In the days of which we speak, not a trace remained of Hojan's erstwhile glory and wealth. It was now a drowsy little town inhabited by small shopkeepers, gardeners, and a multitude of turbaned old dodderers. I don't know what that means. Retired mullahs, 
mudarrisis, ulemas, and qazis. Old men prayed in the mosques, old men sat about in the chaykhanas and tottered about the streets, lanes and squares, filling the town with their wheezy coughing and the dreary shuffling of their slip-shod feet. Such a gathering of old men in a single town was astonishing. What is this? It seemed as if they had all conspired together to consign their ashes to none but the yellow earth of Hojant and had flocked together for that purpose from all over the Muslim world. Engirded on all sides by brimming ariqs, protected from the cold winds by the mountains, Khojant, with its gardens and vineyards, was a veritable paradise. For those who were weary of life's storms. As to fan hai jahan, as to alokad, as bazaar, as chiza khastashdan, onu munj hub bisht paydagda. And that is why the Hojantians ceased not to praise Allah for the great joy of living in such a heaven-blessed place. Tamam roz shukr khudaya Allah. Khudaya shukr. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. There was only one person in the whole town who was of a different mind. In Alamat. Yag na faraki kamilan mudiga chiza bai. Kamilan bakulo ek taraf u ek taraf. A man by the name of Uzak Bai, a former bazaar overseer from Samarkand. Chokidari bazaar bata ya go chhi maga ura. Ya go na far ke mu bazaar mazar ni gawani mu na ya go duty deshta bata hula sa the Samarkand. But then Uzak Bai was a queer, ill-humoured man, but mazab. Who always wore large dark spectacles. Mashkuk, ktekta glasai dark. Wore large dark spectacles that covered half his face. Never made friends. Kadesh ka sandwal niyei. Man zindigin damzi mantaka. Never entered into conversation with anyone never paid visits to or entertained guests. This unsociable disposition of his led his neighbors to believe that he bore within him a dark soul. Burdened by evil deeds, as tamam, gunahai, huzir, gunai, babar, gunai, bakalmi, bichi, chizashda. The urchins scampered away at his approach, shouting, Ow! Spectacled owl! The usto was maskaram, katuk is kalitia, sarakter, mushat, bazamur, mugul, the other game, we are another. Ha ha! Bazamad, but cheshi. Chismoga yarura. Huh? Baikosh, from a lighter bubble, my day, and Baikosh. Mugodo, Baikoshi, Nainagwala, Baikoshi, Nagwala. But he never uttered a word. Which is Joab's name in the Kor, Raikha Migra. He merely shook his head and smiled mirthlessly at the nickname. What must the boy? Yes, the man living under the guise of Uzakbai was none other than Khoja Nasruddin. <laughs> Big spectacles. Kas kas karna dara, na mimumna, na salamuna, na alaik. Chis kata na, camouflage. Yes, the man living under the guise of Uzakbai was none other than Khoja Nasruddin. He knew that in this small town where everyone lived in full view of the others, a single slip of the tongue, a single wrong step 
on his part would bring down a simum upon his family. So he was obliged to cover his face with dark spectacles. To live under an assumed name. To shun his neighbors and in doing so come to feel Hojant to be a dismal prison and himself the most unfortunate and wretched of men. He complained bitterly against Allah for having implanted in his soul two contrary and warring elements. Ya khuda ye cheez marda azab andakhte inj ya ki taqa khshak azmar burke de e do cheez de ziddain charmane azmar andakhte to an in eradicable passion ya gutare jazba ki tu re burne mitne az dil ko for vagabondage bari awar gardi and a warm affection for his family khuda ye cheez kham balance karu e do cheez to charmane azmar andakhte کہ محبت فیملی ایک طرف ای جنونی صحرائی دیگر طرف ٹورن بٹوین دیز اپوزنگ فورسز ہی واز اے ویریٹیبل مارٹر شہید بدھ دیا دا گول ازی ار روز شہید آل دا مور سنس ہی ہیڈ لاکڈ ہیز سفرنگز اوے ڈیپ ڈاؤن ود ان ہیز ہارٹ انڈیڈ ہوم کڈ ہی کمپلین ٹو کس کی گلا کرنا کس کی شکوا کرنا ہوم کڈ ہی کنفائڈ ان راز دل پیش کی بگا In Guljan, his faithful and dearly beloved helpmeet. But as it happened, she personified one of those sundering forces. The other was symbolized by the ass, who stood dozing peacefully and growing fat over his manger. And although the ass possessed not the power of human speech, he was The only creature the poor sufferer could unburden his heart to at night. Agar chhu insani zaman na mufamid, magar nimi bud nispshau ki nasrudin na mazte, me mat pesham zomishit nu budatai. Hal bisha kharab hai. Mujh ka inja madi. And the next day was like the one that had gone before. Har roz the same roz. Khoja Nasrudin would once more put on his spectacles. which made the sun itself look dim and dull and go to the bazaar to do the shopping. On his return, he would occupy himself with various household duties in the little yard, the garden or in the woodshed. The bagche, the chkhana, as if it's in the car, it's in the car. The evenings, however, were his own. The family supped without the master, who would usually be found at that time ascended in one of the outlaying chaykhanas on the banks of the Seer Darya. It was the most squalid of all Khojan's chaykhanas, frequented only by beggars, gadagara, thieves, duza, lagadia, vagabonds, and others of the town's riffraff. خرابترین چای خانه اونمو بود دیگه بات خوجا نسرودین فلت سیف دیر ده فایر پاتس ویت شیپ فات ریکت تیک فیومز آج بچه ها دیگه زبیتا درو کبابا جور شده ریه تیک فیومز دیده همو ده پاک مارکت کیپر آف ده چای خانه ای ریسیور آف ده ستولن گودز ویت ای بروکن نوز and shamelessly turned out nostrils fussed around over the boiling cooking pots. Yak bat khui muji cheese bud diga chima ga ura muna farke de chai jor na muji. Ashpaz. Ashpaz bat khui. Presently the guests began to arrive. And all my mana maya da rauza bitwa. Hunchbacked. Yak oda na maya ki bacha puch bur. Maimed yak dinir zakhmi. Kill, kill, ram, <laughs> blind, core, <laughs> palsied, paralyzed, covered with scabs and fostering sores, hobbling on sticks and crutches, <laughs> filling the air with a noisome odor of their unbelievable rags 
at the origin of which not even the supreme chieftain of the gypsy tribes of Luli could have hazarded a guess. Wearing skull caps, which had enough grease on them to be fried. The guests came crawling into the Chaihana from all sides. Discussing the day's affairs. And their trivial successes and failures with shouts and curses. A success came on some more often, on the Sabre Kumam Chaiboron. Rafton Chablov Zadam the Rishi. Yakimagon with the Padernala, the little Tukmi Palan. Dem the Changawa, do the first day, Mikarisha. Looking at that beggarly rebel swarming in the dim light of the smoking lamps, Hoja Nasruddin thought sorrowfully. This is all that is left to me of the white and beautiful world. And it lay before him that worldwide, spacious, open from end to end, the sunset had faded, dusk was gathering, and a cool freshness drew from the hushed river. The world was surrendering to night's embrace, and the brightening, clear, shining stars stood away from the black canopy of the sky and spun shimmering crystals threads over the earth the strings of the angels as Hafiz would have said Hoja Nasruddin was uh, in no hurry to go home half the guests already lay snoring on the dirty floor in a sprawling heap the keeper was extinguishing the fires under the cooking pots and the cocks were beginning their sleepy melodies roll call all over the town but he still sat there thinking Murga the bangdadomda kshaw shut khaukit magid the chorta tanus trying to find such a way out as would reconcile the two mutually hostile forces within him and deliver him from the unendurable bonds of his Hojand captivity. He knew not at that time that those bonds had already been severed. Decision had ripened in his heart and was but, a, but awaiting the moment when it would be exalted to reason, thereafter to be translated into deeds, like an overchanging avalanche, avalanche, avalanche. It wanted but a slight jolt to set it into motion. The chort was the Hoja Nasruddin. Kichirham Maira Ban Mandari Ali. Who was Dan Chibus Hojan, Tungu Hose Hojan. Ukashi Kohan Muguf, Katuch Muguf Nana Kohan, Hubne, Monzira Gore. Chapter Chapter 2 with Ali.